So I didn't even want to make a video on this topic because it seems like everybody and their mother is complaining about it, but it has gotten so out of control over the past couple of weeks that I felt I had to join the discussion. So YouTube's monetization rules has obviously changed within the past couple of months because of some choice content that people are putting online and also some of these advertisers feeling that YouTube videos aren't a safe place anymore to advertise their products and it seems to be hitting everyone. I thought that because my content is pretty, I guess, advertiser friendly, they're calling it, I would be safe. I didn't think I'd ever be hit by it, but now almost all of my videos are being demonetized. So I have a list here, and these are just videos from 2018 I'm talking about, so this year. Out of the 11 videos I've posted, six of them have been demonetized. And I'm gonna run a list for you guys. The first one was the Polar Pro ND Filter Calculator app walkthrough. The video on the DJI Go app finally getting an update to be iPhone 10 compatible. The video about my Phantom 4 Pro going down again. The video from CES about my favorite drone tech. Um, the next one was the video where I tried to fly my broken drone. And then the final one, which was my most recent video, was the DJI Mavic Air hands-on first impressions. Now I know that every single video that gets uploaded to YouTube goes through some sort of algorithm to see if it is advertiser friendly or not advertiser friendly, but the way that my videos have been going recently is they'll get uploaded to YouTube for the first day, they'll be totally fine. So I guess that's all right because I get to collect the money that I make from that first day, which is definitely when a video gets the most amount of views. But then after that first day, my video gets demonetized. I mean, totally not able to make money for about a day and a half, I would say. And then once that day and a half is up and my video gets reviewed by some Someone at YouTube, then again, I can go ahead and make money off of it and it's monetized. I think the worst thing about this entire situation is that all the videos I upload to this channel are 100% advertiser friendly, in my opinion, and I don't think really anyone would disagree with me, and I'm not going to sit here and go and say that there's other people out there who don't deserve to make money off of their content because it's not advertiser friendly, because to be honest, most videos on this site are totally advertiser friendly, and it seems like there's people out there who are taking things a little bit too far. Now, with all this being said, I totally understand why YouTube has this algorithm in place. They can't have people at their headquarters watch every single second of every single video uploaded to YouTube. It would just be impossible and totally inefficient, but I think this algorithm needs a lot of work. So an example, this pretty much goes across for everybody on YouTube It's uploaded a video about the iPhone 10. If you put iPhone 10, iPhone X in the title, it's probably going to be demonetized and it's going to say that it is unadvertiser friendly. I've uploaded a couple of videos about the iPhone 10, basically pertaining to the DJI Go app, and all of them have been marked as unadvertiser friendly. Another example of this is every single time I upload a video about a firmware update for a drone, it gets demonetized. So for example, let's say I have this Spark here and there's a firmware update for it. I pretty much try to use the same exact title format for all of my firmware update videos, and for some reason it gets demonetized. I mean, it has not failed. Every single time I upload a video about a firmware update, demonetized. So what can we do to fix this situation? Really nothing, unfortunately. It's kind of in YouTube's court, the ball's in their court. Uh, they have to make a decision on kind of how this goes in the future, how monetization works. I mean, again, it's up to them, it's their platform. They can pay their creators however they want to. But I'm here to offer a suggestion to them to kind of open up some sort of program where content creators with a certain level of credibility can go apply and kind of skip this whole algorithm process as all of my videos, all 301 videos I think I've uploaded have been advertiser friendly. Even the ones that have been caught by that algorithm, again, like I said, they've all come out to be advertiser friendly. So again, I think if you've got like maybe a certain amount of subscribers, a certain amount of uploads, maybe even watch time will be a factor. I think that there should be a program that we can enter to again, skip this whole algorithm process. Now I know that there's something out there called Google Preferred, which kind of is a group of like the top 1% or maybe even like the top 0.01% of YouTubers. And what advertisers can do is purchase packages to have their ads run on these channels. And these channels are trusted by YouTube to upload good content. If you guys know of Logan Paul, he was kicked out of the Preferred uh, program because of the video he uploaded, which I'm not going to go into detail on this video. But I don't think that's what I'm trying to pretty much pitch to Google right now, if you're kind of calling it a pitch. Um, I think that this should be open up to a lot more creators out there, again, who have credibility. I've uploaded 300 videos. I feel like by then, I should have a certain level of credibility with YouTube. I'm not going to upload anything stupid. 
So, at the end of the day, I'm not in this for the money. My main reason for making YouTube videos is I love technology, I love flying drones, I love photography, I love videography, and at the end of the day, I love interacting with all of you guys that are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I love reading the comments, I love the people that DM me through Instagram, and all the people that I can get back to, I really try as hard as I can. Um, but again, I'm a struggling college student. I mean, I know that it's kind of like a stigma, poor college student, but it's true. I mean, I really don't have much time to do anything but make these videos and do schoolwork and, like, hang out with my family and friends and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this money from YouTube really does help, and it sucks that I keep getting screwed over by their algorithm. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'd love to see some sort of change and, like, maybe some sort of, again, system where you can go and apply and kind of skips that whole algorithm process. So... Uh, just give me kind of what you guys think down in the comment section. Uh, let me know if you guys have maybe uploaded a video about the Mavic Air and it's been demonetized. Maybe that certain keyword, Mavic Air, demonetizes videos or something. And I'm sure that other people will be voicing their opinions in the future. Um, so right now, I'm just kind of going with it. And I do hope that YouTube implements some fix in the future. Uh, so guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.